we've reached a run of summer races that should favour our car. Let's see if we can get some big results starting in Austria. Welcome back to F1 Manager everybody, my name's Aaron and I'm managing Mercedes and we are about to tick over to the new aerodynamic testing period uh, for this season. We've also had some chassis developments, uh, well manufactured at least, um, and we are preparing for the Austrian Grand Prix. We've got seven days until that race. Uh, Mar uh, Marcus Dudley, Mick Schumacher has low morale. Don't care, we're binning him off at the end of the season. How long is his contract? Five months, doesn't matter. Sorry Mick, but you're not good enough. So, uh, we need to immediately just fast forward time. Now in our last episode, uh, as we upgrade the mem mem memorabilia room, if I can get words out, and uh, manufacture of the third part, the third design of rear wing come through, uh, we were kind of screwed over by a late safety car really, because the race finished behind the safety car. And, uh, well, yeah, that, that was disappointing, to say the least, because we would have had a shot at a podium with George Russell. As things stand in the championship, we are third chasing Ferrari. We're over 100 points, 130-something points behind there by my rough calculations in my head. Behind Ferrari, so a lot of work to do. And in the Drivers' Championship... Um, Lewis is the highest scoring driver without three figures so a lot to do but if we have a look at the circuits that are coming up so next is um, Austria so car attributes high speed crucial our car is the best at high speed which is really really important um, and there's obviously a lot of other factors that will play into this Silverstone follows up low speed recommended high speed crucial so Two races where we should go fairly well. Low speed and medium speed crucial around the Hungara ring, so we might have to miss some out on miss out some points there. But again, we get to Spa. High speed is crucial, as is um, you know top speed and acceleration, which we can potentially improve with some developments, uh, which I will get to off camera, and I'll come back to you before the round in Austria. And then if we have a look at after the summer break. Zandvoort, Monza, not Singapore, but Suzuka and Qatar, all circuits that we could do well at. So we've got an opportunity to really hammer home some points in this mid-season period, and hopefully it will bear some fruit for us. So Okay, so I've been busy away in the background working on development for the cars, and this is what I've gone with in the end. So underfloor... A third iteration of that and a third iteration of front wing as well so what the new underfloor will give us is actually extra low speed which is good we'll lose a little bit on high speed but that's fine because we're still gonna be strong there we need to improve our low speed uh, speed <laughs> for one of a better phrase and uh, front wing is gonna give us a bit of everything to be honest uh, for car two at least it will. Um, so Lewis Hamilton's car is going to go up four on low speed and one each on medium and high speed. And our dirty air tolerance will be improved as well. But that's still something that we need to improve is our, our ability to follow cars in, in traffic. Because generally we're going to be stuck behind somebody else. In clear air I think we're all right. But um, yeah, as you can see, dirty air tolerance, not ideal. Brake cooling which and engine cooling which will be hurt in traffic not good either and acceleration we still need to work on but you, you do that by making the parts lighter and also a little bit of traction now there was also some contracts that came up for re renewal uh, so I had to renew Ron Meadows contract uh, Marcus Dudley's contract Bono's contract and I tried to oh we can now go to uh, Jared Murphy's contract he was low morale which meant we couldn't negotiate with him we still don't want to well we can't now because it's a race weekend wonderful so hopefully if we can do well at this race weekend then uh, he want he'll want to um speak to us all right so it's not actually q3 you're joining me in it's q2 and that's because it's been wet and at the moment we are fourth and ninth i'm just going to slow things down 
slightly so I can explain what's been going on. It was a wet Q1 and we got through and now judging by this weather forecast the rain is set to stop and we've got six minutes left of the session which is why I'm sitting in the garage with both drivers on slicks. Everybody else is doing laps on inters and not really improving. So going to fast forward the time a wee bit. We need to make a decision kind of now to be honest as to what to do. It doesn't look like it's getting particularly much drier. I think we're going to have to send them out. Oh there we go. There it goes. Look at it go. Look at that dampness fall. We're going to send them out on slicks. Here we go. Hamilton and then Russell. We're going to do two laps so that we get basically that extra bit of tyre warm up which is crucial and it's now bone dry. It's dried out basically instantly here in Austria. Everybody else is out as well. So Hamilton does a purple first sector and Russell a personal best. Hamilton I would expect will go flying to the... Oh he's got a load of traffic here. He still goes fastest. Uh, so and it says in the uh, That's concerning. Because I did ask it to do two laps. Uh, that's and Russell has gone a smidge quicker. And Hamilton's now just getting in everybody's way. Uh, and Leclerc, Hamilton there, tumbling down the order. Hamilton's not coming. Hamilton's coming into the pit lane. And so is Russell. It's done this weird thing where it's not sent them for the second run. I definitely asked them to do two laps of fuel. Hopefully we should get through looking at the times. I think we'll be alright. I think we're okay. We are... Okay. We're all good. It's safe. <laughs> uh, we're all fine. Charles Leclerc's got a grid penalty. Probably for engine parts. Um, but yeah, that, that was a a scare I didn't need. And now we will head into Q3. Soft tyres shock a block everywhere. So, uh, yeah, let's just do that. When you do it here, it's fine. But in the session, it's it's weird. Sometimes it, you set the car up and then it doesn't bring up, like down here, it, do, it doesn't allow you to send the car out even though you, you've put new tyres on. And everything's fine. So uh, we'll send Hamilton. And now we'll send Russell. I mean, we should be able to potentially get four laps. Four timed laps. So here we go. Hamilton is slightly slower than Russell so, generally. So just I say that and then Russell goes a tenth and a half slower. Yep. And now we are... Hamilton's on in-lap and Russell is on flying lap. What is going on with this game? Why? So Russell now does a, pers uh, a purple first sector. Alonso's on provisional pole. Wow. Are they on flying laps? They're all on in-laps. So Russell, I think, is about to go to the top of the times. Here we go. We're following George. And he goes third. It's actually starting to rain. Yeah, you know. One day I'll remember to look so at the forecast. So Russell in third there. Where's Verstappen? Verstappen didn't get through. I completely missed that. Max Verstappen didn't get through. And now, Fernando Alonso's on pole position. <laughs> oh, th this game has screwed Hamilton. Absolutely well and truly. Look, it says two laps and I didn't chain include cooldown. Oh, this... This game, man. This game... Science is going out. What's he going out on? Inters. What is the point? What's the point in going out on Inters? You're just going to go slower. Although, that rain has just dried up again. Quick. Send the cars. Send the cars. Why is Russell not ready? Why is? What is this game doing to me? Thank you. Quick, send the cars. Everybody else is on wets. We're on slicks. 
Is that rain going to sneak back up? Just looking at it. It's at 88 millimeters. Or 0.88 of a millimeter. It's edging its way back up. So, I mean, if Hamilton hooks a lap, a lap up here, then we could be in business. It's not a personal best. DRS is active. How's his middle sector? Because a good lap here, and he could be launching himself up a couple of positions. What's his interval? He needs to find half a tenth to get Leclerc, but he's not improving on this lap. And uh, I think, yeah, he's not improved. So that is P6 in qualifying. And uh, Russell behind didn't improve either. So Fernando Alonso has pole position for the sprint race in Austria. So that's currently P3. Um, Leclerc won't serve his penalty until the Grand Prix. So that is a very, very interesting turn of events. What, what? Verstappen was 12th. <laughs> what is going on in this game? What madness. And Logan Sargent made Q3. Absolutely wild scenes in qualifying. All right, so uh, let's go to the sprint. And Fernando Alonso is starting on pole position for the sprint. There's the Aston Martin George. Russell is third. Hamilton starting sixth. Remember, this will set the grid for the race. Lights are out, and Perez is up the inside. Not quite. There's Russell. And Hamilton battling with the Ferraris. Watch out for Verstappen. He's already made a position. Hamilton immediately has dropped back, actually, off of the Ferraris. That's not ideal. <laughs> Russell closing, actually, on Perez. Russell's had the measure. Oh, that, that's a crash. That is uh, uh, Carlos Sainz going down the order. The two Ferraris have collided in the sprint. Look at this. Sainz trying to go around the outside of Leclerc. They bang wheels. And off goes Sainz. And Leclerc is swearing. We'll have none of that on this channel. Leclerc's going to have DRS, so hopefully they can close up on the fight for the lead, which is now being headed by Sergio Perez. And George Russell's actually in with a shot of winning this sprint. Oh, careful there. We've got another yellow flag. Who else has crashed? So uh, kind of debris on track. Apparently debris on track, according to Bono. This is the other Aston Martin of Lance Stroll battling Yuki Tsunoda. It's all happening in this sprint. Oh, that was graphically a bit incorrect, but uh, whatever. Two cars off the track and no, still no safety car. Still no safety car for debris on the track. Third and fourth won't be terrible, especially with Sainz. And Stroll's out of the race now. Sainz way off the back. Leclerc's got a penalty to serve. Verstappen is trying to work his way through. Uh, and now we have a virtual safety car. Oh, turn one. Who is this? It's Lando Every... Norris, who has collided with Logan Sargent. He's taken out Logan Sargent, who's having his best race. At the moment, everything is looking at. So it's all action. Well, I say all action. It's all chaos in this Austria sprint. This is helpful for us. We can just cool the tyres, recover a little bit of fuel, and then we can just go hammer time again. If this, if this sprint is anything to go by, then uh, the, the Grand Prix could be absolutely bonkers. Leclerc back in front and about to be in DRS range on Russell, who's suddenly lost a whole load of pace. What do we do here with, with Hamilton? Do we, do we ask him to drive in clean air? I think we do. Just keep that power unit cool. And he's always showing a wheel to, to Russell. And maybe we say, just don't fight teammate. Driving clean air, don't fight him. <laughs> block block Leclerc. Because, oh, he's going, he's going, oh, he's back, he's backed out of it, actually. We'll take that off, because that, that could get dangerous. And there's Hamilton side by side with Russell, with the DRS, and through to third place. So he's turned the tables on his teammate, has Lewis. And it would appear that he is the quicker driver at the moment. Half a second quicker. What is going on with George Russell? Everything seems kind of normal. 
Uh, maybe he's just slow. A 7.1 there. Second he lost on that lap. Well, Perez did a 7.1 as well. So Hamilton actually quicker than the leaders. Let's actually tell Russell, don't fight teammate. Just stay behind him. And hopefully Hamilton will have the pace to string this group up to the front pair. And he's actually closed the gap a little bit there. Those two at the front are fighting, which is going to bring Hamilton right into play here. And uh, 1.3 the gap. Russell's still obeying. And he looks like he wants to come past. We've got a yellow flag. We've got cars crashing. Who is it? Piastri's involved. McLaren are in the mud in Austria. And they're tangling with uh, De Vries, who's going to cause debris because he's bashed into Oscar Piastri. And McLaren are not going to be happy about that. I mean, we could have let Russell pass, but honestly, his pace after the virtual safety car was rubbish. So I think keeping him behind Hamilton was the right thing to do because we've actually ended up closer than we were when Russell was ahead. So I feel vindicated in that. We've managed the tyres to the end of the race. Um, we're going to pick up some very helpful points as long as Alonso doesn't make an overtake for the lead of the sprint. Perez doing basically what he should do, which is win when Verstappen doesn't. And uh, he's going to do exactly that. Alonso's not going to get past into the final couple of corners. Nor is George Russell. He can be as close as he likes, but he's not allowed to pass. He's... he's at, oh, no! Hamilton's run out of fuel! But we're still classified fourth. Russell sneaks past because Hamilton ran out of fuel. I forgot to put him on conserve. I should have done that. But uh, it's fine. So Russell finish, will start ahead because he qualified there. And, we have and, check flag and Hamilton now. is stuck on the Speed grid four. waiting yeah. to be rescued. Let's go soft, medium, soft on Hamilton. Uh, we'll go yeah, we'll, we'll go soft, hard, soft to start with with Russell. If we can, let's see if the AI pits first, what they go on to have underfueled. Because it helped in Canada. And it helped, I think, in the sprint as well. So as long as we remember to recover the fuel and not have a car <laughs> run out of fuel on the line again. It's definitely not happened twice this season. Uh, I think we'll be all right. But we've locked out the entire second row. Uh, Max Verstappen is lurking in fifth place. He managed to finish sixth in the sprint. Charles Leclerc has got a grid penalty. And it's time for the Austrian Grand Prix. So, Perez on pole, Alonso alongside him. Mercedes on the second row. What damage can we do? Looks like a good start from Russell, actually. And he's immediately up to second place. That's wonderful. Loving that from George Russell. Could he even go for the lead? He's looking at the back of Perez. We're going to go high aggression on the overtakes. Hamilton's immediately lost position to Verstappen. And George Russell is going for the lead. George Russell in the Mercedes doesn't take the lead. At least not yet. But maybe into turn four. Which annoys me because it's really the third corner. Hamilton's down to sixth. George Russell's going for the lead again. High aggression, please, Lewis. Come on, George. Go around the outside. Yep. No, he's going off the track. George Russell's off the track. Oh, it was looking so good. And then suddenly it wasn't. And now there's a whole, whole train of cars behind him. Including Max Verstappen, who's just coming to ruin our fun. Uh, Hamilton, can you go past Gasly, please? Please? Please. Please and thank you. There we go. Back into fifth. And Russell battling with Verstappen, not giving it up. As is uh, Gasly, unfortunately. That's Alonso off the track! Tumbling down the order. And we're back into second. Alonso with the lockup. Look at this. Oh. Thankfully, there was no Mercedes in his way to smash into. But that's fine. Science is ninth. Leclerc is 13th. We need to keep an eye on their progress. We've got the pace on the Alpines, I think. 
So if we can just tag along with Verstappen for a little bit, because we're a bit lighter, then everything will be all right. But we, well, we, we were so close to taking the lead on two occasions and we didn't quite get it with George. But that was an exciting start, to say the least. Okay, got a yellow flag again. Cars have crashed. Verstappen's got a penalty. Max Verstappen has a penalty. What is... The Red Bulls have collided now. This weekend has seen the Ferraris collide. And now it's seen the Red Bulls tangle. Verstappen just about off the track there. He's got damage to the wing, it looks like. Yeah, a little bit of damage for Max Verstappen and a penalty for the Dutchman. And Lewis Hamilton is now in third place. And... Uh, do we get the team orders out again? Because we don't want our drivers uh, colliding. So, uh, excuse me, George, stay behind. All right, so a bit of a sit rep here on lap 13. I've just turned Russell's pace back a little bit in the hope that we can separate these two, make sure that they don't collide. Um, they're harvesting energy at the moment, the pair of them. And Russell is not backing off. <laughs> he's, he's doing everything he can to stay with Lewis Hamilton, even though I've told him not to. Long pit stop here for Verstappen. Of course, he had to change the front wing and serve his penalty. So, bad news for him. We are now seven and a half seconds behind Perez, who is in the lead now and probably should go on to win this race. Verstappen exits in 10th position, right in the danger zone of where all the chaos and carnage has been this weekend. Okay, so maybe now we can... We'll just do it anyway. <laughs> we'll just work with it. It's fine. Perez is in. We lead! We won two! Look at that! Mercedes back at the front. We're first and second in Austria. And now we're wheel to wheel. It's just like the good old days, isn't it? Mercedes out in front. Turn three at Austria. They're going wheel to wheel. We've actually let the Alpines close into two seconds. That's uh, not ideal. And Russell definitely needs to pit uh, this lap. Alonso's had a pit stop issue. I feel so sorry for him. Not. Is Russell pitting? He is. There we go. Very interesting. Hamilton comes out uh, just ahead of Russell, who's now ahead of Sainz. We can probably be balanced on the fuel. We can deploy. And Russell is actually deploying as well. We need to get the tyres up to temperature. And make sure we don't crash into anyone. Science could be a problem now because he is very much in our race. And the Ferrari is fast. Which is just totally not realistic. So we're low on battery. We're low on battery. Wonderful. Virtual safety car here, which is helpful because now we can conserve some fuel with both cars. DRS disabled. We've had another crash. This crash-filled weekend. Nico Hulkenberg has now found the barrier. What's he going to do here? Oh, round it goes. And that is one big repair bill because the car's also on fire. What is it about Haas and finding drivers who like to hit the wall? And he's going to be left at the mercy of the Ferraris. But DRS here, three DRS zones, very powerful. I've asked both drivers to drive in clean air, which will help them preserve the tyres when they're, they're the car behind, basically. So there you go. There's the power of the DRS. We closed back up to Russell. So as long as they don't crash into each other, everything is going to be fine, hopefully. He says, worried a lot. Oh, George Russell has just been absolutely shafted by the, the traffic. It was the Alfa Romeo, which I think was Joe. And he's lost more than a second to Hamilton. And now he is in trouble against the Ferraris. But fortunately, he's got some battery, which will deploy and hopefully close the gap so now the Ferraris have DRS they're going to come past and it probably won't be long before they're on Hamilton so the, the traffic really hasn't played to our well it hasn't helped us at all really has it and maybe we can sneak back through in a minute 
but this could be Ferrari's opportunity and unfortunately in the game they're actually quite handy on strategy the AI does sensible things with Ferrari uh, I wish it didn't because it would give us all a laugh wouldn't it I think there was more traffic drama because Sainz has fallen two seconds behind Hamilton. But bad news is Leclerc's just gone past Russell. And um, we can probably be a bit more aggressive because we'll need to be. And uh, Hamilton as well to be aggressive with him. But he's having a nice old time. He's just under five seconds behind the Red Bulls who are not far away from another squabble by the look of it. Leclerc now... Is he right behind? He's right behind Hamilton. What the hell? He's just at a 1.6.1 and now he's about to snatch third. Oh. What? What hacks is this? Now we've got... Oh, Russell's gone off. He's locked up. Oh. George Russell's day goes from bad to worse. He's done the Fernando Alonso and locked up into turn four there he goes that's not good news and uh, Hamilton is tr trying to catch Leclerc who is just flying what's he on he's on hards where's he found that pace from Verstappen's now in the pit lane what he's gone on to hards interesting very very interesting because Verstappen could be a sitting duck at the end, especially to us on soft tyres. Hamilton has fallen nearly five seconds behind Leclerc, who's just eating the lead of Perez. Although that, that difference is stabilising somewhat. What's Perez's tyres like? 53%. He'll be pitting again, probably for a set of softs. I would assume that, considering what Leclerc's doing, he too is going... For a set of soft tyres. Hamilton just keeping himself ahead of science. Let's get these mediums on George up to temperature. Yellow flag. Stroll with a lock up. That's helpful because uh, George will now undercut him very nicely indeed. And he needs that, that McLaren to get out of the way. You're a lap down, mate. Get out of the way. Blue flags. Okay, pit stop o'clock for Hamilton. Perez is in two, and he is also on a set of softs. So we are almost shadowing the Red Bull strategy. Hamilton in 2.5 seconds stop. That's fine. We're not here to be fast. We're here to be effective and make sure all the wheels are on the wagon. And at the moment, they look like they are. So we are set for fourth or a fifth and hopefully if Ferrari do something Ferrari-ish and Red Bull have another banging of wheels they might be a podium on the offering well Hamilton is 13 seconds behind Verstappen could we beat Verstappen in this race I think that's our target considering we're on softs and he's on aging hards we uh we should be potentially looking at that. Uh, we need to... Well, actually, we are quicker than Perez. There's a yellow flag. There's another crash. Uh, De Bru Verstappen is at it again. <laughs> In the home race, Red Bull have collided with both cars twice. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Where's Perez? He's still in the lead. But this is a massive opportunity for us now. Does Perez have damage? His tyres will surely be shredded. I mean, his tyre wear is, yeah, definitely worse. Has he got damage? Yes, front wing damage. 
We need to catch that ailing Red Bull. Science has now just overtaken Hamilton, which is not what we wanted to see, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Ten laps to go. There's definite definitely a podium on, on the cards now because Hamilton, even if he just sits behind Science and we go past, as Leclerc has now taken the lead, if we go past the two Red Bulls, we'll just end up with at least a third position. So we could end up with second, we could definitely end up with third. We could also, the way this race is, be, is being uh, carried out, end up with being in the gravel. Hamilton now having another look at Science, having a look at the inside. And we might even get the position into turn three. And then, did we get DRS? We did, and we now we can attack for Stappen. Another yellow flag. Oh, virtual safety car. VSC. VSC. Now, now what's happened? Positive. Whatever happens next. This could save Verstappen's bacon. Piastri has crashed at turn 10. This is just the wackiest race. He's going to do exactly what Hulkenberg did. He's going to lose the rear end. There it goes. And into the wall. And on fire? No, no fire this time. No, no barbecue. Not for the Aussie. So uh, we'll just recover some energy. That's very useful for Verstappen because it'll save him, it'll save save P2, I think, for Perez. We're going to be uh, shafted again by a late safety car of some description. But what we can do now is go uh, fully push on the, on the uh, fuel. Pick up the pace. And here we go. Virtual safety car ends. We're on board with Hamilton. We'll get some DRS. And let's sit back and watch the champ at work. And hopefully we don't see a Ferrari come past us in a moment. Because that that would be very suboptimal, as Ron Dennis would put it. But we're closing in with DRS. Lewis Hamilton against Max Verstappen into turn three. Hamilton almost runs into the back of the Red Bull. They've almost come to a complete stop. This time with the DRS. Verstappen just defending the whole time. Can we shove it up the inside? No. Apparently it's impossible to follow. Head down. You're definitely following, you're just not overtaking. Perhaps this time we need to get past him. We need to do it. We need it. Oh, we, now we've got another virtual safety car. Now what? Oh, it's Russell. It's George Russell. Just like he did in 2022, George Russell has crashed at the final corner in Austria. He's out of the race. Oh. And that's more car parts going in the bin. All right, virtual safety car ending again. the tyre life looking like. Not great. Here we go. VSC ends, so we need to make the most of DRS. Use our ERS and just go for it. I think we're going to attack with the tyres. Because there's only two laps to go. So we might as well just send everything. Gonna go off board, and here comes Hamilton. Here he comes. Oh, we've hit pause. Round the outside. Can he get it squared up and get the traction? We'll get DRS. Come on, Lewis. Get through. Here we go. DRS. We're going past the Red Bull. Max Verstappen off the podium. Now we need to run away from this Red Bull. He's looking back down the inside. All the accidents we've seen there this weekend, that is concerning. And he's still there. Last lap starts with Charles Leclerc. And is Verstappen actually going to take this position back? Just need to hang on to it, please, Lewis. We're using absolutely full beans. 
And even if Verstappen does get past, we will get the position because he's got the penalty. But I think we're going to be all right. We'll uh, just go down on the tyre aggression there. Don't want to do anything silly. But a track that is going to play that plays to our, our strengths of our car. Charles Leclerc has won the race. But a track that suits our car, high speed track. We needed a little bit of fortune and we got it this time. We've got a podium in Austria with Lewis Hamilton. George Russell is in the hedge, but we've also got a podium. Hopefully this is the first of a positive run for Mercedes. But that was hard work just for P3. Three different teams on the podium. Charles Leclerc wins. I think his second race of the season. Yes. So two poles and two wins, eight podiums. Verstappen, seven wins, seven podiums. No podium this time around, though. Perez yet to win. Sainz has won a race. Remember this guy, Fernando Alonso? He qualified on pole position for the sprint. And he ended up with two points, having taken a trip through the gravel. But Lewis Hamilton... Third place, Charles Leclerc wins the race from 14th on the grid. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we've extended our gap on Aston Martin by nine points. It would have been more, but George Russell decided he'd join in the fun in crashing at turn 10. Um, we'll be having words with him about that. There's still low confidence in our ability to manage the team car inspection chassis destroyed rear wing destroyed suspension destroyed lovely 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 we'll just have to deal with that engine is in poor condition ers in poor condition that's probably because it's been destroyed i didn't get that far yep gearbox uh, ers zero percent so they're ruined too well if you enjoyed that chaotic race and you want to see more f1 manager videos from me make sure you give this one a like with a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah make sure you check in for the British Grand Prix my home race I am biased it is the best race of the year but it does tend to produce great racing will it produce a podium another podium for Mercedes in the next episode we'll find out next time and until then it's goodbye from me